Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is seafood, organic seafood specifically. So when you go out to a restaurant a lot of times, especially salmon, they throw around the word organic salmon. We're serving organic salmon. Um, and I want to tell you something there. That's a scam. That's a total downright scam. The, the people who are making this or so-called organic seafood, the organic salmon, there, there really is no clear-cut definition. They have a definition for, for organic salmon. I'm going to use organic salmon because organic salmon is the most popular. A lot of vendors now sell organic salmon. There really is no clear-cut, legitimate definition. A lot of these organic, so-called organic certifications are under the radar. They're, they're made by the same farms or the same industry that's actually selling the salmon. So it's one of these independent, so-called independent, sponsored certifications that they write what they need to fit to make their salmon organic. Follow what that goes? So the salmon farm wants to do organic salmon or salmon industry. So they have their own group, which is so-called an independent group or whatever, that comes up with definitions for the organic salmon. Then the, but it's all based upon what the farm is legitimately able to do. So when it comes to the, like the USDA, the USDA is the most known, and I'm not saying the USDA is a perfect organic system, but when you buy organic dry goods, produce, things like that, you'll see the USDA logo on there. Well, there is no USDA logo for uh, seafood or salmon right now because it doesn't exist. So here's an article. Uh, that was It's all over the internet right now, but undercurrentnews.com. USDA organic agriculture label could hit grocery store shelves in 2017. Okay, it's 2015 right now. That's two years away before they have an, a USDA certified organic seafood fish label out there. Uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is closing in on a long-awaited, very long-awaited, long-awaited organic certification standard for aquaculture. With the eco label, the industry has been pinning for possibly appearing on farm raised seafood in supermarkets by 2017. So, when you're in a restaurant and they're telling you, well, we have organic salmon, what, it, what does that mean? Ask them, really, what does that mean? They're going to tell you, oh, it means that we, we feed it you know, this kind of food and this kind of space. And this kind of, but in, realistically, that was created by their own group to fit that farms or that industry specific needs. So is it really, is it better than other salmon? It possibly is better than other salmon, but is it really something that, that, that is a, a universal organic standard? No, it's not a universal organic standard. You know, it, the big thing with seafood is the is sustainability standard. So, the, you know, you have the Monterey Bay Aquarium, you have the uh, Marine Stewardship Council, you have Friends of the Sea, you have all these watchdog groups out there that are actually, um, participating and saying that this is certified seafood, this is certified sustainable, whatever, you know, that's saying this this is a good choice, this is a bad choice, this is a worse choice. You know, for seafood, it's 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 really tough to say if there's really truly good sources of seafood out there. The oceans become polluted. The farms sometimes are totally deplorable. And some farms say, well we're doing a much better job and this and that. Sometimes certain species are much better than other species, and sometimes the methods are different than other methods. So, for example, salmon's the one that gets the bad rap because salmon has what's known as um, they farm it in a pen out in the bays, out in the ocean. So, what happens is the water never, the salmon, when they're in that, in these tight confines, and a tight confinement is one salmon per bathtub. I'm sorry, two salmons per bathtub is typically the industry standards. So when they say, oh, we have a sustainable salmon, or we have a low density farm salmon, or we have an organic farm salmon, what they mean is one salmon per bathtub instead of two salmon per bathtub. Now, I don't think that makes salmon organic or, or, or low density. That's still a very high density uh, farmed product, raised product. Uh, uh, you know, so it's really like a feedlot. It's like a feedlot, salmon feedlot in the ocean. What happens is there's so much filth in these salmon feedlots that the excrement and all, all the disease just sits there and it goes to the bottom of the ocean. Now, as opposed to something where there's a closed containment system, see, that's not a closed containment system. That means all those germs and bacteria and feces can just go, stays right in the bay and it goes into the ocean, it goes right into the bay, it, it goes several kilometers down, there's these dead zones underneath these farms. However, when you have a closed containment system, which the salmon industry does not do, there's only a small handful of farms that I think even do this right now, 
um, closed containment system is where, this is how Arctic Char is farm, is farm raised, by the way. So they're inside buildings in, in pools. And what happens is that water can then be extracted, or the fish extracted from the water, and that water can be filtered and cleaned and rejuvenated. And all the excrement and all the whatever else is in there can be taken out of the water and not put back, and it's not put into the ocean, it's not put into, you know, it's not continuing to just pump into the life of the fish. So at that point, you have no wild fish swimming by these pens and getting the diseases of the lice. That's the big problem with salmon is when the baby fry, the baby fish spawn and they swim past these salmon farms because most salmon farms are placed in the migratory path of wild salmon, believe it or not. So when these baby salmon swim out into the ocean, they swim past these farms with all this filth. Well, their body's not old enough to be able to handle, their immune systems not be able to handle all of that filth and especially the lice. The lice attach themselves to the fish and the fish is doomed. There's really no... Once the lice attach itself to salmon anyway, the salmon's in trouble. But however, typically it's the opposite. The fish is already a big salmon swimming to spawn and swims past these farms and the lice attach to the salmon. But as soon as the salmon hits fresh water in the stream, the lice die. These are only sea lice. So as soon as it hits fresh water, the lice die. So it's, it's, it's part of mother nature. However, when the fish is gonna spend the rest of its life in the sea, the fish dies, not the lice. And so the disease, the lice is spread out further. So a closed containment system, you can't spread diseases, you can't spread fecal matter, you can rejuvenate the water, you can clean the water, and there's no fish that escape and get it, get into, to, into the natural habitat. The salmon farming is the way it's set up to do right now, it's totally the opposite and just out in the bays. So these are the kind of farms that are getting certified organic. So duh, I mean, it's just like, really? So if you see an organic certification, especially for salmon, question it, question it, question it, question it. If they say that it's as good as wild salmon, it's never, first of all, farm salmon is never gonna be as good as wild salmon, no matter how the industry progresses and moves forward, it's just never gonna be there because wild salmon has instincts to swim 2,000 miles, they have their instincts to, to eat their natural food, to spawn, this and that. Farm salmon has none of that. It can do none of that. It will never be able to do any of that. So. If you're eating farm salmon, I suggest you go to my website called nofarmedsalmon.com. Check it out. There's a lot of documentaries on there. There's a lot of articles. There's a lot of good resources on there that after going through that, you'd wonder why you have been eating farm salmon. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass it on.